Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a man with knee U test using R or specifically R Studio. To show you this I first need some data myself as an example and I'm going to be using some SPSS data so I'll first need a package called uh, foreign so I'll press Ctrl enter to load my library foreign and then my data itself Ctrl enter uh, it gives me some errors but my data is there and I'll show you a bit of the data uh, it's quite a large file and the ones I'm actually interested in are mainly at the end uh, the man with the u-test can be used if you have two groups that you want to compare so a binary variable the binary variable I'll be using is uh, gender which was male or female there were no other options and an ordinal variable or scale and in my case I'll be using the number of activities and let me see where I have that um, mix number of activities here which range from um, far too little to far too much and one was coded far too little and five was coded far too much now the man with the U test is actually in the basic stat package which usually is loaded by default uh, but then as a Will Coxon rank some test and uh, to make things worse they actually call it a Will Cox test when I mean, that's incorrect it should be Will Coxon um, it requires a numeric input so as numeric and then from my data the ordinal variable which was mix number activities and then this I think it's called a tilde the curly thingy um, and then the binary variable I don't want to use a correction by default it does one and I also don't want the exact results you can set these to true if you really want but uh, I just don't press ctrl enter and in below in the console I can see the result the W is actually the U value which is 88.5 and it nicely shows my approximate significance to tilt um, sometimes though this U value is actually not being used for this P1 or at least not directly it's actually converted into a Z value and unfortunately the Z value is not shown so what we can do is if you really want to see it is uh, the same test the whole thing but then we store the p-value separately and then we use q norm and then p divided by 2 to get the exact z value so press ctrl enter on this one and ctrl enter again and now the p-value is shown as minus uh, 2.845 now if you like packages for some reason then you can for example install the uh, ashed package and I'll load that in control enter um, and then it actually can perform the WMW uh, so this is actually for Will Coxon man Whitney test uh, notice the capital T as numeric again the same input uh, no correction and when I press control enter it should give me the exact same results note that it's using some uh, unexplained type of man with the estimate not really sure what it is but over here we see 0 0.004436 and that's the same significance as we saw earlier here now unfortunately also this one doesn't give me the Z value so if you are going to use a package I recommend using the coin package so let me load that in library coin uh, same input as before but now Wilcox underscore test and when I run that one you notice that I actually immediately get my Z value as well and still the P value is uh, there well uh, that's how you can perform quickly a man with a U test in R I hope you found this uh, useful if you did uh, please subscribe because that really helps um, if you want to find out more about the man with a U test check out my companion website which is in the description below